Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd kind of like hop onto the trend or like what everyone else is doing because I just love watching them at this point. And it's kind of just showing you all the palettes I think are Valentine's Day appropriate. I'm actually not a massive celebrator of Valentine's. Both Jake and I really aren't. Like we don't really do anything. We're probably just gonna get a takeaway for an excuse to get a takeaway. I don't know, like it's just gonna be like, oh, it's Valentine's, let's get a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> like we're not really massive celebrators of uh, of that event at all. Um, but I feel like it's a really good time just to get out all of my bright colors and you know, I've kind of got some bright pinks on today and I feel really flirty and really cute and really like, ah, lovey and dovey. So I thought I'd kind of just sit down and share with you all the palettes in my collection that are Valentine's Day appropriate. Basically anything that's like pink, pinky mauve, nudie mauve, purpley, sparkly, cute, pretty, pink, all those things. So like, you'll probably be able to see that like everything here is it's pretty pink, like the packaging's pretty pink. It's all pretty pink. <laughs> I think an exciting part of this is I've actually got palettes that are ranging from £4 up to £120. I've got palettes that are really accessible from the drugstore or indie brand or, you know, like I've got loads of different brands here, lots of different price ranges as well. And I think another thing to note is like, you don't have to go out and buy something new for Valentine's Day. Lord knows I'm not. And there are so many beautiful palettes that are on the market at the moment for Valentine's Day. I usually pick up the Beauty Bay one, which has got my eye. I might pick that one up. I might pick that one up. Um, and there are so many other palettes that I don't own that would be so appropriate for Valentine's Day or like feeling flirty, you know, that's sort of like the vibe I've got on today of just like pink and cute. So please don't go out of your way and go purchase something just to have like a pink toned look. Like you don't need these palettes to create a nice flirty look for Valentine's Day if you even celebrate that. I think last Valentine's Day I had green eyeshadow on. So <laughs> it defeats the point of this video to be honest. I think I'm gonna try and swatch all of these. I might hate myself for saying that. Oh. I wanna start off by talking about these e.l.f. palettes. These are the Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. Uh, this one is in rose water and this one is in berry bad and rose water. So again, we kind of got these like ready berry tones, which I think for four pounds is a really good cute addition. Like I said, if you don't have any shades in your collection already, like this is a really good way just to add a few more colors and do something maybe a bit different for Valentine's Day, looking quite flirty. You've got like a nice transition crease, outer corner and some lid shades there. And then we've got the Rose Water palette, which is more cool toned, I say, but it does definitely lean more pinky. I'd say the Berry Bad one is definitely more like red toned and warm. This is more of a cool toned palette, but I think these palettes are really cute and a very good addition to your makeup collection if you don't have a lot. And you can see like you get two very different vibes and I think they're great all year round. So I'd highly recommend these. Nabla or Nabla have quite a lot of palettes as well. I picked out these two because I feel like these are the most pink toned kind of flirty and very sultry ones in their collection. So the first one has got to be the Coral palette, which I mean, the packaging's pink and it looks beautiful already, but this one is definitely more bright pinks. It has like that pop of peach in there and that red and that brown. I feel like this is gonna be very bold for a lot of people that aren't like quite used to makeup perhaps, but you do get quite a nice selection in there. And actually it's a really summertime appropriate as well, let alone Valentine's Day, but look, this is classic, you know, pinky, coral, red, deep and sultry, bright pops, for a six pound palette, I think this is pretty versatile. And then we've got the Wild Berry palette, which I'm obsessed with this packaging. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of like an old lady sewing tin. And I'm not mad about that with all the berries on it. This is a really nice vampy sort of style of palette. It is more like purple red leaning, but I thought that this was just as appropriate for Valentine's Day as anything else. It's kind of stepping away from that very light and airy look, but you know, we've all got different skin tones and I feel like this would be very appropriate for someone with a bit of a deeper skin tone or someone that just doesn't like the light and airy look and you want a bit more dark grungy look. This is a really nice palette. So again, I feel like Nabla has a lot to offer here. These aren't for the faint hearted. I don't think these aren't like a, possibly a good place to start a makeup collection in my personal opinion. They do require a little bit of work and I'd say that if you're used to applying makeup and you feel competent and confident, then these are great palettes, but probably not a starting point. But I really, really like these. They're nice little cute additions to my makeup collection. This is like a little honourable mention. I have no idea if Too Faced still stock this palette, but honestly, this is one of my favourite pa like palettes. I'd say probably top 10 palettes of all time, simply because it is so versatile and the mattes in here are stunning. I think that this is a beautiful 
all matte Valentine's Day, very flirty, very sultry, very versatile palette. You know, if you already have this, whack this out, get it out for Valentine's Day. I know a lot of people that have still got this palette. These here are lovely peachy pink tones and even the browns, like you've got the warm browns up here. You kind of got movie browns down here. I feel like it's a very subtle way of doing Valentine's and you could always get like a glitter topper or a single shade or another shade from another palette. It's kind of like pink leaning and make it really flirty. It smells still of peaches. I absolutely love this palette. I didn't pick up loads from Juvia's Place. I've got a bright pink one that I thought was more of a summertime appropriate kind of palette because it was so bright pink. I mean, it is literally like this, but even brighter. But I picked up the, what is this, the Mini Mauves or just the Mauves palette. Juvia's Place have lots and lots and lots of palettes on offer. So I feel like if you've got any of the Juvia's Place palettes, they have something in some of their palettes. Some, sometimes they have a pink or a mauve tone, which I think is really lovely and flirty. This is probably the only one in my collection that I have, which is Valentine's Day appropriate. This is a very sultry take, but again, we've all got different skin tones. Someone with much deeper skin tone, this is gonna appear not as dark as it does on my eyes. But this shade here, it's like really shifty and beautiful. I'll show you up close so you can actually get a good look. But I just feel like this is a really nice palette. It's definitely more mauve and purple than it is pink, but I feel like you've got a good balance of all six of these shades. And again, it's that really nice addition to your collection. If you don't have shades like this and you don't typically wear them, but you want something just as a bit of an injecting Color. You can get Juvia's Place from Superdrug now um, and it's pretty affordable so yeah accessible, affordable, I like all those keywords. I picked up this one from Glamlight because it just reminds me of Valentine's Day every single time. I don't know if they released it for Valentine's Day but it's definitely an appropriate one for it. This is the Red Velvet Cupcake palette I think it's called. I think this is a really appropriate Valentine's Day palette. I've only used this palette a handful of times, maybe three or four times ever and I really should reach for it more because this is such a flirty purple pink red toned palette. Really really lovely and kind of like a few of the others I'm not sure if this is still available but if you have it your collection pull it out make it your valentine's day palette give it some love barry m have these two palettes i think that these two palettes the elf bite size and possibly the juvia's place uh, i'm not sure about any others are the most accessible ones in terms of just going out to the shop going to the drugstore to pick them up these are all the most affordable ones as well and i think they're the best ones if you're not a massive makeup lover but you just want to inject some like flirty pinkness or flirty red flirty mauve to your collection these are like the best place to start because i think everything else i'm talking about here is either not as accessible um maybe a little bit more of a risk very expensive or very pigmented which can be quite scary for people that don't apply makeup that often so i thought i'd give these two palettes a mention these are the nude and neutral subtle palette and the nude and neutral rich palette this has got some really beautiful pink tones and browns and i feel like you can pull off a really kind of well nude and neutral look but in a really flirty light way without um, it being too scary on the eyes especially if you're not used to makeup and then they have the rich palette which I mean I apply this one to my eyes because I really like it but if you've got a deeper skin tone this is probably a little bit more ideal for you it probably pair with your deeper skin tone nicer you've got some really nice rich purpley tones mauvey tones red tones you have got like that really orange copper but you've got the really nice pink and reddish tones here and this one is more I'd say brown pink slightly mauvey toned like leaning up here but these are really nice palettes if you're not a massive makeup lover you just want to go out to super truck or boots pick something up i think these are pretty good palettes for the price let's do beauty bay so beauty bay has some valentine's day palettes specifically upon release they also have the berries palette which is what i've got on my eyes today i feel like this is very loud very in your face i mean my makeup is very bright it's very pink um i think even jake when he walked in he was like looking very pink today and I was like I know I'm I know I know I'm looking very pink this is not for the faint-hearted if you want subtle pink if you don't want bright and loud in your face don't pick this up there's about three subtle shades in this entire palette maybe four maybe four it's not it's not light at all it's very pigmented it's very kapow pigment on your face you will look like this if that's the look you're going for fabulous uh, then this is a really great palette highly recommend you've got some lovely corally reds um some nice like mahogany reds i'd say like the burgundy is what i'm actually looking for and really nice plum tones and some purples here i really really like this palette um yeah that's the berries palette i've also got two of their other valentine's day palettes i've got the new romantic palette which is similar to the berries but this is more pink and red leaning it has got some browns in here again i'm not quite sure that this is for the faint-hearted 
there are some wearable colours in here but I think this palette is more for makeup lovers if I'm perfectly honest. These palettes do retail for £15 and I think the berries was 8 or 10 something like that but these are £15. I know that they've got the new love palette, no what's it called, like retro love I think this year they've released which is a far cry from these two palettes it's more colorful very 80s nostalgia vibe but this is really really nice like I said it's not for the faint-hearted you have got some lighter tones in here some deeper tones you've got a really nice contrast and you've got a lot of shimmers mattes it's a really lovely palette I don't pick this one up enough um, but I never struggle to create a really nice look with this so if you have got it pull it out give it some love I've also got the love notes palette which just reminds me of Bridgerton. I think it was supposed to be very Bridgerton inspired. I feel like this one got a lot of hate and I really really like this palette. I can see why people were like ugh about this because it's very light. I feel like if you're any deeper than a medium skin tone I think you're going to struggle with this. However I see this as a pastel palette and you know you've got these soapy tones. I don't think it was meant to be non-inclusive but we can see from this palette that this is pretty deep like this is sometimes a bit too deep for me and I don't mind deep and dark makeups I don't think Beauty Babe was trying to be non-inclusive I think actually they are very inclusive but an eyeshadow palette is an eyeshadow palette and sometimes they're going to be light and sometimes they're going to be deep like I don't I don't know what to say I think this is what it is it's a soapy pastel palette very light lacy very Bridgerton very kind of airy fairy whereas this one is like heavy deep sultry romance and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I don't think you have to be personally inclusive within every single product as long as there's something for everyone within the range I don't think everything has to be for everyone and I yeah like that's kind of all I have to say about that one but this palette is really really pretty got some really light pastel pinks and some pastel purples a few nudey kind of neutral tones up there this one I'd say if you are a light to medium skin tone and you want to add some color you're feeling brave and you want to add some pinky purple tones I'm not sure that this is available anymore but something like this isn't scary this is quite easy to blend and it's not too deep it's not too scary again if you have either of these palettes, pull them out, give them some love. I thought I'd pull out this old dear, this old granny of a palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I know that they have like the rose metals or something like that. It's like their second palette in their like new iterations of palettes. I think this is just an old classic and the reason I pulled this out is I think a lot of people have it. If you have it, use it. I think this is really deep, sultry, sexy, very Valentine's Day if you pick the right colours. If you pick out any of these, or these shades you can definitely get a very pinky Valentine's Day appropriate look but I thought I'd just give this a little old mention because why not use your palettes use your old palettes I am a nightmare for it I hoard on to all of my beautiful things and never go back and revisit old grandma you know <laughs> I thought this palette from Sigma was also a really good one to pick. This is the Corda Rosa. This is a really good palette, I thought, because it's kind of got those peachy pink tones and those deep reds, a hint of purple. Again, I know a lot of people have got this palette. It became a very, uh, like, I had a cult following, I'd say. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's safe to say. I have not used this. Have I used this once? <gasps> I haven't used this at all. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell my mum. <laughs> I think this is a beautiful palette like I bought this because I thought it was a beautiful palette and I think if you've got it use it unlike me who has let it sit there and be unused I'm gonna leave this out because I need to use it I can't let palettes sit sit with me if I've not used them that's ridiculous this is some really nice depth and sparkly shades it's absolutely stunning I will swatch it for this video so it hasn't gone to waste it's also got loads of roses on and it looks flirty and beautiful I think the new mod palette from Sigma is actually a really good palette. I don't have that one, but I feel like the new mod, is that what it's called? It's like pink and cushiony looking. That one's more mauvey toned and I think that would be a really good palette as well if you've got that. But yeah, this is really beautiful, pink, flirty, very light, very springtime appropriate. Really good palette. Also Sigma's quality, chef's kiss. I picked up this little cutie from Kaleidos just to show to you. I absolutely love Kaleidos. I think they are an amazing brand. Couldn't really find anything that was like pink flirty very valentine's day apart from sashimi city i'm pretty sure they still sell this one this is a very neutral 
uh, palette and has this beautiful like duochrome pink and these coral shades here. This isn't um, necessarily a very pink tone palette but I feel like if you're a neutral lover and you want some indie brand makeup, honestly Kaleidos I recommend anything that they sell. I truly truly do. Every product I've received or rather purchased from Kaleidos has been sensational. I have not had a dud yet so really really like this palette. I think it's very subtle, it's very no makeup makeup but it's got those lovely sparkly shades so I think it could look really airy fairy and beautiful. I'm majorly regretting saying that I'm going to swatch all of these. I'm literally looking at all of them like <laughs> what have I done? I feel like it wouldn't be a Valentine's Day palette video without mentioning the Natasha Denona Love palette. I've used this so many times. I've taken shades out of this because they are all magnetic for a lot of my DIY palettes, which I really need you to get back onto. But this is a really great palette. You've got lovely purples, reds, pinks, the soapy pinks, which are really nice. Those really lovely burgundy reds, pops of plum. Oh, it's just a really, really lovely palette. And honestly, Valentine's Day or not, this is just a standalone in my collection for just these lovely, beautiful tones. It's a really good quality palette. She also released the Retro palette, which I was kind of not gonna show. And I did put it back in and then I got it back out again. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna show it, Never mind. This is the Retro, yeah, just the Retro palette. This is a really, really beautiful one because it's got these like cool toned mauves, which I feel like if you're not a very pink, like, Ah, if you don't love pink as much as like, other people but you want something that's not brown and yeah and you have this or you've been pining after this this one here which what's this called psychedelic yeah, psychedelic glitz really beautiful pink shades you've got really nice burgundy shades in there as well it's just like a really really nice palette and i think you create like one of those anti-valentine's day looks from it but um yeah it's it's really really nice this is from Ozai. this is like another little indie brand mention i'd say if you're gonna get from an indie brand i do prefer kaleidos formula over Ozai. this is another palette i've never touched why do i do this to myself this palette is called the saga of freya chapter one tears of freya i think this is a really lovely palette this has got some really nice peachy pink tones that lovely purple there and you have got some browns and neutrals and this really weird like blue plum really really lovely i think this is a bit more of an alternative like take on valentine's day but it's still pink it's still quite romantic and yeah like i said a, a palette doesn't have to be bright pink or has to only be pink or only be purple or only be red like you can take a nice twist on a palette and make it valentine's day appropriate making this the focal point or this the focal point or using them all together creating uh, an only matte look using these three and maybe popping that in the inner corner i think that'd be really really cool and then we go to mother pat mother pat mcgrath who only knows how to do pink and mauve tones. So I thought we won't sit here and talk about every single palette because that would get very dull. I have also recently done a Pat McGrath haul, I'll link up in the eye, which I showed the new palettes, that the new Mothership palettes specifically, that I bought into my collection to complete my Mothership palette collection. I now have all 10, very exciting times. I just wanna briefly talk about the Bridgerton palette. I only have the first one, I didn't bother with the second because it was literally identical apart from one shade. I feel like for me personally, I kind of overlook this one sometimes just because it was an of the moment thing it's got a really lovely glittery blue but honestly apart from the blue the rest of this is very pink and mauvey toned like this is a very valentine's day appropriate palette and then you have that pop of blue so i think this is a really nice palette if you've got it use it if you've got it use it <laughs> and then i just wanted to mention three motherships that i think are absolutely pink and very valentine's day appropriate out of all of the motherships i think these ones are just very centrally pink first one has got to be the rose uh, the divine rose palette the first one this is again very cool toned um i'd actually say this is the least pinky very flirty out of all of them this is more nude based but you still have like this duo chrome kind of bright fluorescent pink and some mauvey tones in there so i thought i'd give it like a little honorable mention but out of all three this is probably the least valentine's day but if you've got it you can absolutely use it to make it very valentine's day appropriate you know using these mauvey tones using this across the lid using this across the lid it's it's going to be a good one to use and i can't mention the first one without mentioning the second one this is the divine rose 2 palette i'd say this one's got a bit more bright pop in it and this is definitely going to be more kind of like this look if you put this one through the crease you've got the pink to green here so if you want something a bit different you've got this lovely mauve tone the peachy pink here and this like mauve tone burgundy shade this is a really really and this shade here is like a pearly pink this is a really nice valentine's day palette i think if you did that again it kind of looks like the juvia's place palette a little bit or even like that very pink toned very flirty very valentine's day i think this is a good palette if you've got it 
use it. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have the Hutopian Dream palette, which is the one in this box. This is kind of like the Divine Rose 2, in my opinion, where it kind of adds a little bit of colour. This one's got a very peachy coral, peachy pinky coral, and the nice, like, a rosy rosy pink, you've got the burgundy kind of brown, the mauvey pink here, the really nice deep burgundy pink brown-ish shade here, and you've got like gold and this lovely, oh my god this shade, oh I'll show you in the swatches, and then you've got this lovely like purple as well, I think this is a really nice Valentine's Day palette, I nearly, very nearly forgot to mention Colourpop, I have so many Colourpop palettes and to sit there perusing through them all, opening them all up, it sounded like such a chore, so if I picked up the three that I just was like instantly those are Valentine's Day palettes for me. Um, I have three for you here, though, like I said, Colourpop have so many palettes available, so many palettes on the website. I recommend Colourpop as a brand. I love everything they produce, and the quality is really, really good. The first one I've got to show you is the Making Moves palette. This is a very cool toned, very purple, very subtle palette. Really, really lovely. You've got the three shimmers and the six mattes. Doesn't run particularly deep. I'd say if you've got anything anything deeper than a light to medium skin tone this is going to be too light for you but it is a really nice simple palette and very affordable um, and it's really romantic looking so there's that one I really like this palette but I know it is discontinued now this is the Femme Rosa by Karouche it's like a Karouche collaboration it's got all these beautiful roses on it this is honestly a palette that I pick up so often and I have no idea why. You can go peachy, you can go red, you can go purple. It's a really, really lovely palette. You've only got four mattes and then the rest are metallics or shimmers, but it's a really nice um, Valentine's Day appropriate palette. I really like it. And then finally, I thought I'd just give this one an honourable mention. This is the Colourpop All Amethyst palette. This is very purple, but I feel like if you want to go a purple leaning way, this is a really, really nice palette. I really recommend it. And yeah, I recommend all Colourpop palettes. So if you see something that you think is Valentine's Day appropriate, I'm sure I've got more in my collection, but I really cannot be bothered to go through them all. They are a really good place to go. If you want something fun, colourful, you want texture and you want good quality shadows. And that is it. These are all the palettes I have to showcase for Valentine's Day. Like I said, if you've got any of these palettes, if you've got any palettes that are remotely similar to any of these, use them. Give them some love. You don't need to purchase anything new. But if you do want to purchase something new and you want to give yourself that moment, there are so many other palettes, even outside of what I've shown you today, that are very Valentine's Day appropriate or love appropriate. So yeah, let me know. Do you have a favourite go-to Valentine's Day palette? Are you even bothered about Valentine's Day? Are you like me and Jake who just use it as an excuse to get a takeaway? Um, and do you make any effort? Do you like just having an excuse to get your pink and mauve tone shadows out let me know thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed today's video thumbs this video up if you have subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell to be notified of all the videos i upload thank you so much for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye